Morning, Joe and the Pro, and one of my favorite guests, period. Ralph Michaels from Cal Sports with us. College basketball extraordinaire, writing machine, and the man with all the know-how. Ralph, uh, we're going to talk four basketball games today, and I want to talk a little bit about the double AF. You put out something yesterday we're going to discuss. Uh, but first and foremost, how the hell are you? Doing great, my friend. Uh, it was a good weekend. My son was in town visiting and got to see him, and uh, looking forward to the two most exciting weeks in sports. These conference tournaments are just awesome. I find the most exciting uh, two weeks in sports are right around the All-Star break in baseball. <laughs> On the beach having a uh, cold one? Yeah, dude. I mean, come on. Enough already. Like, every day, over and over, seven days a week, it never freaking ends. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, what, the day or day before the All-Star break and the day after, and uh, that's about it? Yeah, those those are my favorite. That's my favorite time. Uh, but, hey, the Cricket World Cup is starting soon. That's pretty exciting. Uh, you got anything for us? Yeah, take the team that scores them as a goal. So, you know, or yeah, I'm not runs. even sure how you keep score there. Runs. Runs? Okay, yeah. Runs. Well. Take the team that scores the most runs. Yeah, and do it in hindsight. Just tell your book you didn't realize it started, right? Yeah, post post betting would be great if we were able to do that. It, it has been done before. Yeah, well, we'll do it the right way and uh, hopefully have more winners than losers, which uh, a lot of guys at Wager Talk have been doing. Hey, I love cricket. I should do a World Cup uh, cricket preview show myself. Well, you know, here in the U.S., I don't know how many people bet it, but is it is it pretty is it bet heavily across the world? Well, not only is it bet heavily across the world, but every year there are uh, the, the, the fixes in every year. It, it, it's one of those sports, man, it, they, and they keep getting caught. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, the punishments aren't enough. Yeah, well, you know what? They probably don't get paid nearly the type of money as uh, Bryce Harper does. Uh, I would say the entire Pakistani team multiplied by 10 doesn't get as much money as Bryce Harper does. Yet it's such a large sport with a massive following. That leaves leaks, Ralph. There's leaks. Yeah, well, you know, uh, if you're on the right side of those, it's a great thing. I'm really surprised it doesn't happen a lot in college football and college basketball with some of, you know, so many of these, you know, bottom tier one quarterbacks, etc. You know, they're, they're not going to amount to anything other than being a lawyer or maybe work at McDonald's. Uh, yet there's 80,000 people watching them every week. Uh it, 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 it's, it's unbelievable that uh, it's not an epidemic. Yeah, well, you know, it, it's you have the security, you have what they watch, but you're right. A quarterback can make a difference in a handful of games by having a horrible game, but it would need to be a game that they're a pick or, or a slight favorite in and then totally tank for that to happen. I think it's a game that they would be minus – you know, 15 in and the quarterback can win the game, but not cover the spread. I think that's more likely. And I'll tell you something, Ralph, it for sure happens. That's my opinion. Anyway, dude, uh, let's give out some promos and get into the show. Uh, I got a five star or 5% NHL play tonight. Highest percentage we offer at wagertalk.com. I absolutely love this play. I'm on a five and two totals run in NHL, uh, over 60% in totals in 18 months in NHL. And I love my play tonight. Five unit play, you find it at wagertalk.com. It's $30, but $10 to all our loyal listeners. Use the promo code NHL10 at wagertalk.com. And as for you, my friend, uh, we've got a offer that expires at midnight tonight uh $100 for your college basketball till the end till North Dakota is crowned the champ CBB 100 CBB 100 right till the last game played 
I'll tell you what, Prez, on March 18th, after Selection Sunday, my March Madness price will be $169. So they're not only saving $69 off my March Madness price, they're getting the rest of the regular season for free, and they're getting two weeks of conference tournaments for free with that special. Yeah, guys, it expires at midnight tonight. Make sure you get down on it. $100. Use the promo code CBB100. Ralph, let's talk a little bit about the double, double AF. Uh, are you following it? Are you betting it? Are you keeping stats on it? Uh, what do you know about it? How can we win at it? So many questions. Well, you know, it's it's a league that I waited on. It, it happened at the wrong time for me. I'm so invested in college basketball. I couldn't break down the rosters like I do in college football. So, no, I did not bet it early. I did play a few unders this past week and was successful. The unders have now gone one and seven the last two weeks. They have yet to make the adjustments. The total wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. One over to seven unders? Yes, the last two weeks. Right. And they have yet to make the big adjustments. The totals were 45. You saw some down at 40. The lowest total last week was 39 and a half. And we saw scores of 12 to 11, 20 to 11, and 14 to 11. The defense, the offenses just cannot catch up to the defenses that are so far ahead on these teams. And that, and that's totally logical. I mean, firstly, you don't have incredible quarterbacks right now, wide receivers that can't create space running backs that can't get through the second level. But more importantly, it's the chemistry. Uh, defense in any type of sport uh, is quicker than offense because of the chemistry. So that makes total sense. Uh, have they started to adjust, and do you think it's going to change? Well, I think they have to get to the mid-30s. The totals aren't out yet for this week, so we'll see. The only team that's been scoring is the Orlando Apollos. That's coached by Steve Spurrier. And he's two and two to the over. Uh, but his offense at least looks like it has some potential. But that's the only team that I would not back as far as an under goes. The rest of these teams are very feeble offensively. Uh, who's the quarterback for the Orlando whoever the hell's? Oh, boy, you're going to get me without an answer. Uh, oh, don't don't have the answer to that. No big deal. I was just curious. Okay, let's get into it, my friend. Let's start with the game of the day. The number 10 seed LSU, 24 and 5 on the season, heading into a 17 and 12 Florida team. And Florida's home record is uh, pretty similar to their entire record, 9 and 5 on the season. The home team here, Ralph, is a favorite at minus one. Uh, these teams played. Uh, a week, two weeks ago, overtime, Florida won 82-77. Uh, LSU's won three in a row, seven of their last eight. Florida's won five of their last six. And maybe that's the reason for this line, but this line is a little bit, uh, well, it's interesting given that these two teams from a ranking perspective, are so far apart. 65% of the general public is on LSU. The over and under here is 140. Obviously, they went way over that total in the last game, but they did need overtime to do it. Uh, where are you going in this game? You know, it's a situation that I love looking at. LSU is a team that was going to be a middle-level SEC team. They have two freshmen that have been spectacular. And all of a sudden now, they're a half a game behind Tennessee for the SEC title. If they win out, they're going to share the SEC title. Well, what does that mean? That means these kids now have pressure they are unaccustomed to. Yeah, they won at Alabama this week, but they have the second straight road game. And people tend to look, you have a much better team that lost at home. You have quick turnaround revenge. But to me... Florida is in a great spot. This is their final home game, senior night. They're off an embarrassing home loss to Georgia just last week. LSU's offense has struggled the last few weeks. They were a team that was shooting 50% in conference play. You look at their last four games, they've been under 45%. Florida is a top 15 defense. I like the Gators to sweep the series and give Tennessee the SEC title. 
He's Ralph Michaels from Kell Sports. I'm the Prez. You're watching Morning Joe and the Pro. Uh, you can find us every day uh, on our YouTube channel, Wager Talk TV, as well as at sportsmemo.com and wagertalk.com. And guys, take advantage of Ralph's college basketball offer. It expires at midnight tonight. CBB 100. It's $100 till the champion is crowned. Everyone knows I've been saying it all week. My pick is North Dakota. Uh, well, South Dakota State would be the team that comes out of the summit, not North Dakota. But uh, Mike Dom, their player, is, is going to be in the NBA. So I don't think you get out of the Summit League Conference Tournament, but good luck to you. Yeah, if anybody thinks I, I'm being serious about North Dakota, I don't. What what is their nickname? The Bison. We we should just play a what is the nickname game. Uh, do you think I'd ever be able to stump you? Uh, maybe. There's 353 teams. When we get down to some of those at the very end, you probably would. Well, what is the nickname of the Carolina hockey team? Oh, that would be the Hurricanes. Woohoo! Washington, 14 and 0 at home, 23 and 6 on the season. They're hosting a 17 and 11 Oregon State, Oregon, Oregon, whatever you want to pronounce it. Uh, 67% of the public are on Washington. Uh, they're a minus six and a half home favorite. The over and under here is 132. Oregon's lost two in a row, Ralph. Uh, Arizona and Arizona State. Uh, Washington's lost two in a row to Stanford and Cal, but both of those games are on the road. I got to believe that Washington will be able to bounce back. Oh, they beat Stanford. My bad. All right. A one-point win straight up. Yeah. Yeah. I got to believe Washington is the superior team here. uh, And these points, well, in college basketball, medium to short. Yeah, you know, it, it's a situation where Washington Washington it plays Syracuse's zone. Their head coach, Mike Hopkins, in his second season here, he was a 20-plus year assistant at Syracuse. We know watching Syracuse, when they get to the tournament, they always play better defense at the end of the year. Well, they had a bad lapse, losing to California and then following that up with Stanford. But this team knows they don't Oi, I think we have a little bit of a... Down the bubble. I think they get it done at home. You know, back at home now against this Oregon State team that struggles shooting long two-point shots against the zone, Washington takes care of business. Uh, Washington minus the six and a half. Ralph, what is the nickname you know, of the Australian cricket team? Uh, that would be Kangaroos. Ah, good try. <laughs> good. The, Outback, the Outbackers? No, no, no. The Baggy Greens. Uh, yeah, that would have been uh, probably my 350,000 mm-hmm. guess. Well, at least that's what Google, the Baggy Greens. What kind of stupid name is that? What's, uh, the, what's the nickname of the Canadian hockey team? Well, that would be the Montreal Canadiens, the Toronto... No, no, the Canadian, the entire, like when we send them to the Olympics. Uh, That would be the Maple, I don't know. The Canadian gold medal winners. Oh, I see. Yes. Uh, I made that up. Wyoming, San Jose State. Boy, do these teams suck. Six wins for Wyoming, four for San Jose State. People care about this game, plus two for the home team. I'm not even going to get into how many games in a row each of these teams have lost. Although, strangely, they both won a game in their last two. Shame on the teams that they beat. Wow. Uh, I could care less about this game, but you want to talk about it, and a bet's a bet. So fill us well, in. You know, you have a you obviously have two horrible teams, but, you know, to me... You have to be able to win on the road to be able to be an away favorite. 
Wyoming is 0-11 straight up on the road. I don't care how bad that team is, they're going to visit. They have yet to win a game. How about this? Since 2014, only 11 times in those six years has a team with a win percentage over 25% in February or March. So it's not an 0-1, it's not an 0-2 team. It's a February or March team that has a win percentage under 25% bid and away favorite. They're 3-8 and eight straight up. They're 2-9 and nine ATS. And you can say San Jose is 4-24, and 24, or you could say San Jose is finishing the season. They're 1-1 one and one their last two games. They're 1-0 and oh their last home games. I like the Spartans in this spot. You just can't play a horrific team on the road that has yet to win a game away from home this season. Uh, but if they tank, they get the first round draft pick, don't they? Uh, you get nothing. You get to face uh, Nevada or Utah State first in the Mountain West tournament. Uh, I just texted Carm and uh, Alex because we got puck time coming up soon. And I'm like, uh, five more minutes, guys. And Carm's like, rub one out quicker. And I'm typing hard, hard to be fast when doing a show with Ralph. Yeah, Ralph talks a lot. What can you say? No, no, you didn't get that, but maybe my listeners will. Uh, NBA, brother. Uh, Boston and Sacramento. Uh, Boston is plus two and a half. They're zigzagging in their last three games, but other than that, this team is playing bad, man. They've lost five of their last seven. They're playing a Sacramento team who hasn't done much better. I got to believe Boston is going to start uh, putting their foot down. I think this is a buy team, but maybe not tonight. Fill us in. I like the Sacramento team. They're a team that's playing hard. You watch a lot of these teams that are tanking. You watch Sacramento. They play offense. They play defense. They are not nearly as talented, but that's why they're 11-3 and ATS at home their last 14 games. I don't think there's a worse situational spot you could find in the NBA Boston is off Houston, the second best team in the West. They're off an upset win against Golden State, the best team in the West. They now have LeBron on deck with a trip to the Lakers. Teams that are off an upset win of Golden State at Golden State, only 19, 27, and 3, 41% since 2013. <laughs> when those teams are an away favorite or a small dog, only 6, 12, and 1 against the spread, 33%. You can't I'm get you, you're taking you're taking the kings. Taking the kings. What kind of nickname is that? The kings. Well, that was I believe that the kings were. Uh, boy, who was Sacramento? They used to be New Orleans with the kings with the Mardi Gras. I don't know. I'm all about hockey. You know, the NBA teams have moved around so much that, you know, you have the Utah Jazz, which was in New Orleans, and that's why they're the Jazz. Who would go to Utah to listen to Jazz? Uh, I'm going to Utah in literally seven days. Well, you'll be right around the corner from us. You going skiing or are you going to go join the uh, Mormon church? Well, you know, I am looking for a way to have six wives because, you know, one woman uh, is, is too easy to handle. Oh, my God. Can you imagine, Ralph? I mean, nothing is worth six wives. Uh, nothing. No, not even a, a sevensome or whatever you want to call it. Uh, dude, I won my NBA play last night. I am killing it in NBA. I was on Houston. I played against my raps. Uh, I'm killing it in college basketball, too, dude. Check out my college basketball record. 43 and 27 since the start of March Madness last year. That's 62%. These listeners think I don't know my shit because I talk about draft picks in college basketball. I'm killing it in everything. And tonight I got a five-unit play up at wagertalk.com. It's in hockey. Uh, and it's yours for 10 bucks. NHL 10. Make sure... The, probably the best offer we've had on any of these shows is your uh, your college basketball rest of the season, $100. Use the promo code CBB100. Ralph, it's been a pleasure. Uh, we'll see you either next Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, if it's Wednesday, it's with me. If it's Thursday, Marco will be hosting. 
So my apologies ahead of time. Thanks for doing this, brother, and be good. Thanks, Press. Have a great trip.